Welcome back. Well, we're not back. Yes. We've never been gone. True. We're still here. Well, no, we're back. We're, we're back because we're not back. We're back because he's throwing bombs at you. Oh. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, bombs. Yes. He is shooting you. So it's funny because if you remember the first game, which people, since we haven't played it, you may not have seen it on ice cream, but the first game we killed Gladys by throwing like a rocket at her. So he has decided, well, maybe let's not use a rocket, let's use bombs, but also put bomb shields so that I can't be hit by the bombs, right? He's kind of smart. Where do I want him to give you? Oh, so is it similar to? Yeah, basically just blow him up the bombs. Oh, ow. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work. Juggling bombs. I'm like, cool. I get it. I get it. There you go. And one hit down. So I gotta hit him from all angles then. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta hit him with bombs. You gotta grab a core. This is my favorite core of the all the cores you get. This is space core. He is a core that is obsessed with space. I don't know why I like him so much. And he's gone. Oh! <laughs> you you can hear him if you hold on to him? Yes. Oh! Oh! Okay. All right, I'm gonna die really quick. Nah, I mean it's- Well, it's, it's your favorite one, so I'm gonna hold on. He just says space a bunch. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's the boringest of the cores. He's just my favorite one. <laughs> He's space guy. He's just like a, a guy that's like, space! Space face! <laughs> just like obsessed with space. It, you'll see. You, you actually hear from him a little bit later. Ow. Ow. There we go. Let's see. He's smart. He's learned how to protect against you. Oh. Not gonna take it from above now. I got it. You gotta take it from below. I get it. Cool. Yeah. This. Is, see, it's it's kind of a little bit like the same fight from the first game, just better. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, the fight from the first game is. Pretty much, you know. What are you fighting that guy? So we gotta find. We gotta get this guy. Gimme, gimme. He's too high. Gimme. Too high. Oh, really? This kind of core is kind of funny too. He's the one that has the most uh, interesting dialogue, I think, of them all. I still like Space Guy better, but. Get. Just like you're doing. It is Things pretty interesting. Real messy. For yourself, huh? There we go. Right, I figured it out. I'll do what I can to cover you. Wanna give me the... Doesn't bother me. Oops. You That's just... Oh, it's the evil guy. This guy that said was evil. Well, he's not evil. Man, he's just an yes. adventure guy. You are beautiful. He's evil guy. Like, I gotta I figure out how to jump now. Did you hear that? Like something just exploded. Mm. Man, we are in a lot of danger. <laughs> this is like Christmas. Mm. You know, it's better than Christmas. Should be its own holiday. Explosion day! Explosion day. Mm. Happy yes. explosion day. I do like explosion day. It's a pretty good day. I'll tell you, it's time um, like this. There was wings. pink on, or blue on the ground. Yeah, so you couldn't there. just use it. Pretty much everything. Karate, Maybe. Jiu-Jitsu, kick, punch, and belt, making taekwondo. Maybe I got to... You got this, man. You got right this. Tension and power. Just it's not supposed to be hard. All right, well, it's kind of hard. It's not kind of hard. It's not really hard. You're not supposed to even use portals for this. No? You're not supposed to. You can. Oh, yeah, no. But... What? Where? What am I? I'm... It's the red thing on the other right side of it. Yeah, I gotta get it there, but how do I get up there? Blue. Left. There you go. This? Oh, this is blue? Yep. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hard to see the blue goo? Yeah, I couldn't see that. Huh. I was like... Yeah, there was a tiny patch of blue on the way. Interesting. Oh. So now you got a two minute timer, so... Uh... Okay. Cool. Cool. Now he's getting even smarter. Look, now the top and the bottom. Look at that, but not as bad. <gasps> what? 
face me, damn it. I wonder if that'll work. Oh, no, I get enough. We also gotta get white. Yeah, I. Yeah. You only got two minutes, so, uh. Actually. Two minutes is plenty of time. I mean, now you have a minute. That's plenty of time. There you go. See, plenty of time. I mean, there may be another core after this one, so. Uh, we got one minute. The core. Someone give me the core. Up to your right, mind you. Uh, to the right. right. There he is. Oh. Oh. And yellow! Uh, is there blue around here somewhere? Oh no. There's no blue. And then I go over. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe there? Oh, I wonder if that'll work actually. Oh yeah! Oh, that's oh. how you put him in there. That's how, do I, work. how do I get him? Come on, you can figure this out! Right there. Mm, no. But let's see what that does anyway. I mean, it might. Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Okay, um... 12 seconds. Mm, I think I can do it. Distance. Where is the core? You could maybe do a portal right below. <gasps> right. Right. Bam. I only tell you this because you're dead. Well, <laughs> death is just another construct form. of the mind. Mm, you're right. You're right. It's just a construct of the mind. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, the first fight, to be honest with her, wasn't really that great because it was like she would shoot a rocket and then you would just point it at her. You know, this one's like you gotta change the rocket and find the cores and something. Come on, really? Come on. I mean, I kind of like that it's like, even the greatest idiot, like a, a core designed to be an idiot, still comes up with smart plans, just because like, even an idiot can think up of like good things too. Like, it's not inherently hard to think up some of these plans, and it just kind of shows you by how they're not like foolproof or anything. Also, you're like a psychic person right now that's like, oh, you know, what are the chances it would happen to fall right there? Yeah! Almost. Come on. Not cool. I forgot to push the button. Oh, I thought maybe you just didn't get enough height or something. Got him! Cool. Now I gotta do the thing where I do the thing. You did the thing. Stay there. You follow me. We'll see if it still works. Whales are twice as intelligent and three times as delicious as you. It looks like it will still work. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Look, bam, dunked, dunked on the Wheatley. Perfect. Hmm. Now how much time? So the thing is, look, we made the core corrupt enough that now they can't trust the core. So that's like the idea. Is like, to me, it didn't make sense by pulling the cores off. But this one makes sense, because it's like we're corrupting him with the dumb cores. Mm. To be honest, my favorite was that one. Mm. Right there. And now, like any genius, we have to put back the potato into control. Why are we putting her back into control when she's trying to kill us? I don't know. I uh, don't know either. It just did not let me get her. Stalemate resolution button, go! Oh. Stalemate resolution button, go! Go! Go, press the button! I'm going. And after this, we're going to probably want to pause to not pause pause, but pause on our dialogue, because some of the best dialogue in the game happens right here. Okay, so we will pause and let you hear it. You got to press the button, though. I don't know where the button is! It's in there! Oh. Is there a portal? I got a portal. I got a portal. Well, at least there's no countdown. And with this, the end of Portal 2! Uh-oh. Are you still alive? Look, there's my hands. You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place. I love cutscenes! You have to play bloody Do I have to portal the moon? It is 
made out of moon rocks. How's the team? Oh. Space! Interesting. Space! Also, my head would explode. Yeah, you'd be dead. Let go! We're in space! 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 Space core! Still connected! I can pull myself in! I can still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no, change your plans. Hold on to me. Tighter. Goodbye, Wheatley. Huh? So glad it saved us. Or was it Carolyn that saved us? Oh, she's no longer Gladys. She got rid of the other mines. More to the cutscene. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. I but we're getting a lot of rewards! Or awards. I did not super exciting. They really doesn't do anything for us. But... <gasps> it's the fat and the skinny guy. God, you're all right. Hmm. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy. But all along, you were my best friend. Mm -hmm. The surge of emotion that shot through mm. me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. What? Where Carolyn lives in my brain. <gasps> Carolyn, delete. Oh. Goodbye, <laughs> Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. Mm. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Sounds pretty good. Nobody murdered mm. me or put me in a potato. Or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up. You dangerous, mute, lunatic. At least and she you knows. Know what? <laughs> you win. Just go. And we're free! It's been fun. Don't so, there is an interesting theory I will point out while the credits start rolling. Um, that really shows you when she says she's like oh you were really our great my greatest friend you know you have a special spot in our oh wait cool guess she's still letting us go also i love this this is like one of the best there's actually two ending songs for this game we have the turret song is it because i saved the turret from dying that one time no oh just we get nice turret song. In fact, not just a turret song, but a turret orchestra. Interesting. So, how did I get this ending? You beat the game. What's the other ending? There's no other ending. You said there was two endings. No. What? You said there was two two endings. When the elevator opened, you were like, oh, there's two endings. There's only one ending. You said there was two, though. What? Yeah, you were like, oh, there's actually, you can get two endings in this game. I don't remember ever saying that. You gotta show me. If someone's heard <laughs> me say there's two endings, link it in the comments. Tell me what episode it was. I don't remember ever saying that. I'm but, not, uh, you said it just like two seconds ago. Yeah, find the episode where I said it. It's in this I don't, episode. I don't, know. I don't remember saying go that back, at all. Go back 30 seconds. But um, anyways, what I was saying to before I got interrupted by Turret Orchestra, um, is actually, apparently, remember that potato diagram that we uh, saw earlier with the potato growing? And I was like, that's your potato. Yes. That was the potato for bring your daughter to work day. Which means, I mean, obviously everyone's a daughter or a son of someone, you know? But who are we a daughter of? Maybe Carolyn and Cave Johnson. Oh. Because... There's a special spot in Carolyn's heart for us. Carolyn's now deleted, but it, it's basically hinted at throughout the game that we are actually the daughter of Cave Johnson and Carolyn. And that's why our, like, test thing, our potato diagram, was there when everyone died. Because we were brought in for Bring Your Daughter to Work Day when the whole pandemic things started you know poison gas interesting and listen to this too right like so this is the song but there's a lot in this song as well 
which I'll point out the really important parts, other than the fact that this song is a banger! This song is so good! I like the first song better. Yeah. Well. But, did I like this game better? Than Portal 1? Yes. Maybe. But what was it about it that was better? Was it the dialogue, the gameplay, the length, the... Oh, sorry, I'm just um, listing all the things that I like better, you know? Feel free to throw in something else. Well... See, look, right here really quickly. Now little Carolyn is in here too. One day they woke me up so I could live forever. So, see, they're basically saying, yeah, she was Carolyn, put in the machine, and now she lives forever as Carolyn. Except for till today, because she deleted Carolyn to live as Gladys. So... But Gladys is Carolyn. So yeah. then was she put into that to watch over the kid grow up? No, she was put in there because Cave Johnson wanted to live forever. Did you think I meant you? And then she got put in it. But yeah. if you're the daughter of them, something happens to him and he dies and he's like, Well, I need someone to watch the kid. Well no, she just got put in there because also, this is interesting, right? She says, I don't need you anymore when I delete you. Maybe I'll stop feeling so bad. So it's like letting you leave. She didn't really want to let you leave because you're her daughter. But obviously, she deleted that part. Now you're not really her daughter, even though you kind of are. And I don't know, it's just a lot of weird stuff, but it's, it's very fascinating. There's a lot of lore in this game. A lot of lore. Interesting. Yeah, I like the story. Did I like the puzzles? No. <laughs> but you I You like guess... the puzzles better in the first game, or...? No. You just didn't like... Yeah, you know what? Why play a puzzle game when you don't no. like... No, <laughs> well, if it's a puzzle game... Also, Space Core. Space Core. He's so excited. He's like, I made it to space! I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. Hmm. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, <laughs> mate. Yeah. We're both yeah. in space. I'm both. <laughs> anyway, look at Space Core. You know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy mm. and monstrous. And, huh, I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. <laughs> the end. The end. Interesting. And now the title screen changed, which if you, you never guys, you never saw the title screen, but it showed the destroyed aperture. Had we ever paused in the middle of the game, it would have changed the title screen to the new aperture. And now that we've beaten the game, we see Wheatley in space. Interesting. So it's kind of nice too, though. You basically getting it from me telling you, because you didn't see it yourself. But that's I, how the dice rolls, you know? So I liked it. I liked it as a game. It was challenging and I like the length and the story commentary was fantastic in my opinion yeah it uh, yeah it was a really it's good been game a long time how have you been knowing the solutions to the puzzles makes it better mm, yeah the second time you go through when you can just focus on the dialogue and not have your whole brain consumed by how do I figure this puzzle out? Yeah. It does give you a little bit more of a... In, you can enjoy things better. But, maybe not right after this, or maybe right after this. There is a co-op where we get to continue playing this game as those two robots we saw at the end of the game. The and, that one and the skinny one. Yeah, the story does continue. So, who knows? You guys might be seeing co-op gameplay in the future. Maybe there will be a pause. Maybe you're three years into the future and you're looking back and everything's already out when it's already out. There's so much to learn. But what we learned is that if you like this video, you should like the video, subscribe to the video, leave a comment on do you want to see more Portal or what game do you want to see next. We will respond back to you. Yes, we'll always respond. That is something that we will always do. These and until then, we will see you guys in the next humans. series. Which could That's be this. Yes, depending on... You don't know pride. It's kind of different. It'll have a different see. thumbnail. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. But you'll see too. Till then, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.